Hi everyone, it's Jerry Enchantress. I'm here with a flip through. It's been a little while since I bought something new and I couldn't resist. I saw this cute little Lenormand deck um, with the mermaid theme. So I've been enjoying my Lenormand lately. It's I, I like how I like to use it in divination, and it's also cool that Lenormand is German-based, and that's my heritage, too, so it feels very natural to work with the Lenormand. So let me just... Now, this is made in, in Brazil, <laughs> but um, the Lenormand itself is, is more of a German-type deck. Look at how... Look at the back. Isn't it pretty? And I can edge the sides, like, in some kind of pink or purple. It would be cool if I could do it in a sparkly yeah I could even do that maybe though anyway so let's take a look at the pictures okay so here's mountain it's not they're not labeled but pretty if you know the Lenderman well enough it's pretty easy to tell what they are there's the cross they're not they didn't come in order <laughs> the coffin I'm working on uh, Lenerman myself and doing some artwork. You might like to check my Instagram out to see what some of my designs have been like. But yeah, so I'm kind of familiar with all the terminology. And then we've got the anchor, but it's very straightforward and very pretty. And I might have to look into what this one is though. Oh, the ring? Wow, okay, I'm gonna look at that one. 25, okay, sun. And the, and the heart, isn't it cute? And the clouds, <clears throat> and the bear, and the stork, and the tree, and the ship, or, no, that's a uh, crossroads. Okay, I have to look into that one. <laughs> the stork, the star, the book. The ship. That's a ship. That's a good pirate ship right there. Uh, the tower, maybe? I have to look at that. The fox. The fish. The rider. My, actually, my rider, <laughs> and my Lenormand is a lot like this. It's a, it's a seahorse rider. The uh, key. Maybe I'll do that for my key. And so the, the maiden, the damsel... The mermaid and the whip that's cool <laughs> the uh, the the scythe I guess that would be the scythe I'll have to look in that, into that one the house the bouquet um, okay this one is the uh, the park or the public place and garden the garden the snake, the clover, the dog, uh, the lilies, the child. <laughs> now I almost have, you know, like the memorized, what the numbering of each one of them. The mice, then there's the, the male, the main man, the masculine, or the divine masculine, and merman, or <clears throat> lots of... Lenormans have the the ma masculine and the feminine as lord and lady, or like in the the gilded reverie, there's two types. There's like a sexy lady and a um, a more modest woman, and same with the the man. Um, I've seen the poor, like a poor man and a rich man, poor woman, rich woman. So there's lots of variations. People like to play with the with the main man and main female version of <clears throat> and that looks like the moon to me <laughs> and the message or oh, the letter okay yeah the letter all right so and it doesn't come with a, any kind of instructions or anything so you kind of have to really know the lettermint to really sort this out so let me go get my special book from the astounding pixie yeah 10 is the scythe the reason why i I didn't know that in the back of my head is because I use Lenormand for timing and 10 is October and fall and the scythe is harvest and cutting down the wheat and so all of those associations I have in my head 
to help with the timing. So, yep. And then, how I'm pretty sure that one's the tower on the 19th. Yep, tower, which is a good card, but it has to do with bureaucracy and whatever. I feel like, I think I got this in the Game Crafters, Game Crafters um, website. And then 22 is, it, it goes with uh, different um, wording, sometimes, but most of the time it's called the crossroads. So in the Gilded uh, Reverie, uh, it's it's two staircases, you know, so it, it represents a choice, you know, but it's it's the crossroads So choices so it was represented well and then 25. Yeah, I believe that is the ring Let's see Heart is 24. Yeah, and the ring so I guessed right and then you know That's the like the porthole, but here you can see wedding rings. So that's nice so very cute, very cute, and you know I might use these um, along with my mermaid tarot and mermaid oracles. C upcoming uh, Pisces season, I'm gonna go all mermaidy on you guys, okay? So um, if you're interested in seeing some more of my readings, come out and see my live. I think I'm be going live tonight on TikTok, but I do have like a household situation. Um, I did, I thought I would had escaped the, um, the Texas weather issues with people's pipes messing up. And I, I actually have something I have to deal with, but, uh, but luckily I have my awesome sons are coming out and, and working on it. So, um, I don't know if they need me or if I can go live without them or what. But anyway, just to be aware that that might keep me from, from doing my live reading. So I see you guys later. Faith, trust, and pixie dust.